Well, we're going to end our news tonight with two positive stories. You may recall that Hobby Lobby was being pressured by the Obama administration into providing abortion health care for its employees. They refused on religious grounds, and the government came against them with $1.3 million per day fines. Now, they had a victory in court today. In a story from the New American, it says Hobby Lobby wins reprieve and battle against contraceptive mandate. On June 27th, the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals in Denver ruled that the Christian owners of Hobby Lobby and Mardell had sufficiently demonstrated that they would likely prevail in proving that their religious freedoms would be compromised if they were forced to obey the mandate. The ruling reversed a lower court's refusal to provide a preliminary injunction blocking enforcement of the mandate while the Hobby Lobby case proceeds in court. CEO David Green explained that, quote, by being required to make a choice between sacrificing our faith or paying millions of dollars in fines, we essentially must choose which poison pill to swallow. We simply cannot abandon our religious beliefs to comply with this mandate. Now, this latest court ruling means that while the case proceeds, Hobby Lobby and Mardell will not be subject to the estimated $1.3 million per day in fines that would have been imposed on them as of July 1st for their refusal to obey the mandate. The companies, founded by Green and Family as biblically-based businesses, have combined a total of some 14,000 full-time employees eligible for company-provided health insurance. You have to understand that to the Obama administration, to the socialists who are trying to saddle us with these kind of mandates, that's worth these 14,000 employees losing their job, putting this business out of business, so they can dictate the terms of health care being provided. Absolutely amazing, but nothing matters to them more than their ability to dictate terms to people. It truly is the heart of a dictator, and they do not care about people's lives or about the economy. We should have other exemptions, not just for religious exemptions. No one should be forced to have mandated health care. That is something that the government clearly does not have the authority to do under the Constitution. Well, we also have another interesting victory here, or potential victory. At least they're moving in the right way. We have a Tea Party freshman that is putting the D.C. speed cameras in the crosshairs, reports roll call. Now, of course, this isn't something that has happened yet, and he only has two co-sponsors. But listen to what, it's kind of a snarky article here from uh, David Hawkins, but it, it's kind of interesting. He says, House Republicans have shown their interest in micromanaging the municipal affairs of Washington, D.C. time and again. He says, usually it's, it's social experiments, things like charter schools, gun control, abortion rights, medical marijuana, needle exchange programs for drug addicts. But this time, Representative Kerry Bentavolio, a conservative freshman from outer Detroit suburbs, uh, is trying to stop traffic speed cameras. Now, he says, at first blush, seeking a federal rewrite of one local traffic ordinance would seem about the farthest thing one would imagine from a small government conservatism. Why would that be? Why wouldn't small government want to stop these kinds of speed tickets? Well, I don't know why he thinks that would be a contradiction, but it is not something that you would expect from Republicans, okay? Maybe uh, Republicans don't really want small government, but libertarians do. And that was the interesting thing about this. He says that this is representative of a libertarian streak that is showing up in the House Republican conference. It says, these members say the cameras are a pernicious big brother intrusion and everyday life that could lead to improper government snooping into our lives and already guarantee a lack of due process for motorists. And there has been legislation to restrict their use enacted in a dozen states. He also points out that he's got two co-sponsors, Steve Stockman of Texas and David Schweikert of Arizona. Well, hats off to those three, I guess as the Australians would say, good on you. Um, we really appreciate them taking a look at an issue like that. It is not a trivial issue. It is not micromanaging. It is something we should all be concerned about. Well, stay tuned right after the break. We have that interview we talked about with Mike Zulo, talking about Obama's birth certificate and how he's trying to cover up his background. Stay tuned. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.